Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am just going to be doing a more casual vlog style of how I host slash decorate for a fun Halloween night at my house. So I'm kind of combining them because um, I did do it a couple days ago at night with friends, but I am going to do it right now with my family. So I kind of wanted to share with you like bits and pieces of it because I was so busy that night that I actually hosted my friends and I couldn't even film everything I wanted to, the decorations and stuff. So I am just going to be sharing with you guys what I would do for a fun night of pumpkin carving and also some decorations that I have around my house. I do like to keep my aesthetic really simple and plain. I know I am just plain Jane, but I love it. I think it looks classic and clean and timeless. Um, I don't like a lot of colors in my house just because I feel like in case it can tend to look outdated really quickly. Orange is like the only exception. Halloween is always orange. But um, I just only have like sporadic little pops of oranges. It's not really a lot of orange. But I did want to share with you guys my Halloween decorations that I did. And I hope you guys enjoy these type of lifestyle videos. I really love them. They have been my favorite lately. So yeah, stay tuned if you want to see more like this, give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys are loving this content because I love it and I'm hoping you guys love it. So I'm getting a little bit personal and sharing with you guys bits of my home so I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into it. So we decorated our garage with these little chalkboard bat stickers that we got from Target. I think they add a really cute touch. And then we also had to decorate the front door. So I got the buffalo check plaid one from rug from Hobby Lobby and then the other rug that says pumpkin spice and everything nice is from Kirkland's and all the pumpkins are from Target. So as you enter my house this is what you're going to see. I just love how festive it looks right as you enter the door. The spider web is from Target. It's a random spider that we have as well that is from like Joann's or something and yeah I just think it adds a nice little touch when people come in. It's definitely a statement piece. This has been my dream mirror for such a long time now. We got it from Kirkland's. We added some little chalkboard bats as well and some flickering candles. We haven't been able to hang it up, so I just thought it looked really, really cute here. And then I also added some white little pumpkins on my TV stand. I think it just makes it look really festive. And then we had to put the real pumpkins on top of the chair so Skye wouldn't eat them anymore because she already ate two. And this is just the very simple setup I have on my dining table. This is just a little pumpkin that can also be used to serve punch and drinks. And then I set out the little s'mores outside so that way we can roast them afterwards. And we just had a great time carving and just enjoying each other's company. So my number one tip is to definitely have the tools ready to go for your friends and family so that way they can carve with them. We definitely did purchase some tea lights so they can put inside of their pumpkins. And then we have the little book so that way they can just pick an image that they wanted to create in there. And then I recommend those little pails so that way they can put their little pumpkin guts in there. And this is a setup for indoors. We did have to move it inside the other day when our friends came over because the mosquitoes were so bad outside. But yeah, I just had a great time and I definitely recommend doing this in the fall time. It's definitely a Halloween bucket list to do in the month of October. It's such a great fun way to spend time with your family and friends.